know that Apple's September event is coming up, but what about other releases? In today's video, I'm gonna share all the releases expected for 2021. So there's still a lot to come, and in today's video, I'm gonna tell you all about it. But before we get started, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. This video is sponsored by Setapp, an incredible cross-platform suite which gives you access to over 200 iOS and macOS applications without any additional cost. You only need to pay for your subscription and choose the apps that you would like to use. Now, a great benefit is that you can start a 7-day trial for free when you use the link listed down below in the description. So starting off, let's talk about the releases expected at the September event. According to Mark Gurman, we are going to have multiple fall events, so one in September, one in October, and one in November, which is similar um, as we had last year, so that's what I'm gonna consider for this video. So starting off, iPhone 13, it may be released at the September event, and the new lineup may have the same design as the iPhone 12 we may see mainly camera upgrades and improved performance due to the A15 chip. I have a complete video about it here on the channel, so make sure to check that one out as well in case you haven't watched it yet. The link is listed down below in the description. And the second product that we're still waiting for 2021 is the Apple Watch Series 7. The new watch is supposed to have a completely new design, which is supposed to be similar to the iPhone 12, so it may have squared edges, larger display, thinner display bezels, and a new lamination technique that could bring the display closer to the front. The new watch may also have improved performance and larger speakers, as seen in the render shared by John Prosser. The new Apple Watch does look amazing, and according to John Prosser, Apple is also testing different colors, and they may release a green version. According to German, the new device may also include updated ultra-wideband functionality, which is the same tech seen in Apple's AirTag, and about other updates, Apple is probably going to be pushing back the body temperature sensor to 2022 and postpone the blood sugar sensor to monitor glucose levels for several more years. The third device that we're still hoping to see in 2021 is the AirPods 3. The new AirPods may have a new design, which is supposed to be similar to the AirPods Pro with shorter stems and a new case. However, this AirPods are not going to have noise cancellation and transparency modes because it's supposed to be cheaper than the AirPods Pro. And these are the products expected at the September event. Next, according to an earlier report by Gurman, Apple is also working on a new iPad mini, which may be included at the September event, or it could be released in a press release. I believe that Apple is not going to be releasing the iPad mini at the September event, so the press release makes more sense to me. The new iPad mini may have a completely new design, and John Prosser previously shared awesome renders by Ian. The design may be similar to the iPad Air with no home button, slimmer bezels, bigger display, touch ID on the power button, and Apple may switch from lightning connector to USB-C. The new iPad mini may also have improved speakers, the A14 chip, 5G support, and compatibility with a new smaller Apple Pencil. Regarding the colors, it may be available in three colors, black, silver, and gold. And still talking about iPads, Apple is also developing a 10.2-inch display low-cost iPad. This iPad is supposed to be thinner and similar to the discontinued iPad Air 3, with a Touch ID home button, A12 Bionic processor, and it may start at $329. The low-cost iPad may have Apple Pencil support, smart connector for smart keyboard support, however, it is still unclear if this release is actually happening or not, and when it could be. There's a slight possibility for Apple to release it in October or November alongside the new MacBook Pros or via press release. Again, I believe that a press release would make more sense for this device. And last but not least, let's talk about the M1X MacBook Pros. They were expected at Apple's WWDC, and unfortunately, it didn't happen, but this is the most expected design overhaul to the MacBook Pro that we've seen since 2016. 
Both 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros are expected to have mini LED displays, an upgraded design with new ports, physical function keys and no touch bar, and of course, the M1X Apple Silicon chip. The M1X may feature 10-core CPU that features 8 high-performance cores and 2 energy-efficient cores, along with 16-core and 32-core GPU options and support for up to 64GB of RAM. Gurman said that the 14 and 16-inch MacBook Pros suffered production delays, but they should be available by the 16-inch MacBook Pros second anniversary, which is in November. So is there anything else for 2021? Most likely not. There is a larger Apple Silicon iMac expected to be released in 2022, and a new Mac Mini, Mac Pro, and MacBook Air also in 2022. And these are the Apple releases still expected for 2021. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.